Hello everyone, welcome back to the part of Zimbla Chronicles 3, Future Redeemed. Last time we finished off chapter 4, as you can see from this menu, I have not moved on. So I guess we're in for more story, at least for the beginning. I don't know how long it's going to stay that way, but we'll see. I don't know how long chapter 5 is, although just guessing from the structure of how the plot is, I can't imagine there's more than 5 chapters. I really can't, but we'll see again. So, let's go. Good afternoon. This is eleven news. Wednesday, May fifteenth. Weather in the Radamantis Authority is fair. It is twenty-four degrees centigrade, fifty-six percent humidity. Continuing yesterday's classic highs, the day promises to be pleasant. Today's news will be delivered by me, Sienna Morgan. With additional analysis by our political correspondent, Barry Crowley. Where's this? Whoa, what's all this supposed to be? <laughs> what is this place? Seriously? I don't know. But it looks like there's a path at least. Then let's follow it. No point in hanging around here. Be careful. Place as strange as this, anything at all could happen. Okay, so I'm actually kind of glad we got here right away because uh, as I was going to say, but it was... Listen, uh, I actually got spoiled on this yesterday. Like, I was looking at a review. It's supposed to be spoiler-free, but they just mentioned it in, like, the first 30 seconds. Immediately thumbs down the video and block the channel, but the damage was done. So I'm glad I don't have to dance around this anymore. Yes, the inside of the of origin is this. I... I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Where is this thing supposed to, to be? Like, I mean, obviously it's supposed to be a recreation of some suburban town. And then there's definitely the needle there. Pretty. I've never seen anything like this. Wow, those towers. It's like they're all sparkling. And that enormous one. It's so huge, bigger than a castle. Hmm. Shulk. This is what I think it is. Yeah. The source of us all. Zanza. No. Klaus's world. Before the fall. Hmm. What was that about the world? Before mine and Rex's worlds came to be. Everything was one. And this is that place. Um... What you said at the base about the two worlds before they came together. This was even further back than those ones. The lads got brawn and brains. I'm impressed. So what? We've traveled back into the past then? No, not really. This is Origin's memory stage. We were directly underneath it. Yeah. I think we're probably inside of it now. Meaning we're inside someone's memories? Of all the people who could remember this era, only one's left. Alpha, eh? But what's the point of him showing us all this? Is it really Alpha that's doing this? Or is it... Hmm? Piano. This melody. Huh? I can hear piano from up ahead. It, the others just abandoned us? Okay. 
Yeah, you get a good look at the uh, the sky tower, which I guess this means it has to be one of the three because little known detail about Xenoblade 2, they just kind of gloss over in that game. Uh, there's supposed to be three of these towers around the world. We're orbiting around one of them during that entire game. And that one, of course, is the world tree, but this could be one of the other two or it could be the same one. I don't know if it really matters here. Because Xenoblade fans are absolutely nuts. Of course, they figured out where <laughs> that needle was in like a week. So I'm kind of hesitant to say for sure yes or no because this doesn't quite give the same feeling as the location that they found, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see. Just perfect. Nael, how come you're... It's such a wonderful place, isn't it? I've always dreamed of this. A place we can live together. A place to call home. And not just for you and me, but for everyone we know. Every who? When did they... Hey, miss! I'm hungry! Can we have a snack? Okay! All right, wash your hands first and then make a line. Because today, I've made something extra special. Hooray! The ninth vessel, departing in July, heralds a new generation of ultra-long-range colony ships, known officially as Philadelphia-class motherships. There's plenty to go around. Just let me know if you want seconds. Meaning that if all goes to plan, the project will send a total of 10 million people out into the great beyond. Now for our next story. It concerns a Sailor Right Human Rights Protection Bill brought to Congress last summer. See? Isn't this great? There's no room for woes or worries here. Nothing to ruin our happiness. Out there, there's a world like this waiting. A place for new lives to live as they please. Just like this. Mael, you can't... It was promised to me. By him. Him? Mm. The person with the silver hair and kind eyes. He gave us this beautiful world. He said if we simply cast away the old lives, has issued a statement concerning the matter at hand. Please stay we can set out unburdened, and all this can be ours. You see? We don't need any of this old life. Certainly, it's beautiful. If it could truly stay this way. <gasps> Nael. Don't you know what came after? Have you ever seen it? <laughs> Weren't you ever... Curious? I think you suspect already. How it changed. What became of this world. And... How people have always been. Ambition leads to pride. Even when they'd been granted limitless freedom. Even having built the perfect world for themselves. Humans yet desired the beyond. And then, the world became the way it is now. 
Lies! This is all lies! Don't think your ludicrous stories are gonna change my mind. Alpha! He made me an inviolable promise. He said this is what awaits us at the end of our road. He said we could make a world like this. Oh, come off it. Really? You think that? Of course I do. Everything that we were denied is right here for us. It's obviously a scam. <sighs> Wherever you go, it's the same. You leave them, it only ends one way. Oh, so we should just let them keep killing each other. Killing to live. What a load of crap. Good riddance to anything those butchers want to save. They're not things. They're lives. <laughs> and yeah, I can't forgive Mobius either. Reaping lives like Granger in Harvest. But come on. What crimes have their victims ever committed? What did they do? They weren't given a single choice. They were just trying to make the most of each moment, like us. <sighs> Everyone you know died for that. Are you okay with that, Matthew? I'm bloody not. <laughs> Truth is, what you're talking of doing would make you exactly the same as Mobius. <sighs> exactly the same. If you build a new world on that foundation, it'll only end one way. Like this. This here. And this is the future you want? You see? Not hell. The lives that you and I have. You know that's a possible future for all the soldiers, right? If it weren't for those guys, we wouldn't even be here. Don't lose sight of the real enemy. You know who it is. Mobius or Alpha. It doesn't matter what you call them. The real enemy is whoever threatens our lives. Whoever tries to rob us of our hopes and dreams. Let's build a future, Nael. The one our elders wanted. With our own hands. Come on. What do you say? Matthew... I cannot stand such drivel. Alpha. <gasps> I safeguard this world by removing what is time-worn. But it seems that you continue to contravene me. You spur these olden mortals to action. I am your conscience. Conscience? <laughs> there is no place for it in the Trinity process. It's you there's no place for, Alpha. Cause Klaus, he entrusted the future to us. So he could atone for his past. He followed his conscience. And he failed to realize that his conscience led him astray. An atavistic delusion. It is common among the old. Wholly unnecessary for all subsequent life. I knew it. Of course that would be your vision of the world. As long as there's people like you, nothing's ever going to change. Casting off the old world and its people and just walking away. You could not comprehend it, Matthew. Turning around, going back, looking for a new way forward. Doing that time and again. That's how you build a future. Hey. But you're just an obsolete piece of scrap. So no wonder you don't get it. You say I am obsolete?
Life is on our side. And since there's none in you, you're destined for the scrap heap! Let's do this, Matthew. Time to bring things to an end. I hear you. Wait for me, Niall. I mean, there is a portal back here. The Sense Omina region? Uh, where is that again? That's not the town, is it? Like, I'm actually curious where this goes because, uh, this is feeling very endgamey. So like, it's sort of like that scene was so, last scene like was really good. Oh, well, I mean, there's something right here. Well, somewhere around here. Okay, I'll uh, the old cabin all save now. I'll just go. Yeah, like also, I I was paying attention to the background audio on the radio while it was going off. I think they might have just confirmed X's cannon. <laughs> Like, I know everybody kind of hypothesized about it back before base game 3 was out, but... I mean, they were talking about, like, the whole the space program of sending shuttles out to other worlds. Like, that sounds pretty exy to me. Alright, let's go. Still killing them out, but I'm not sure why. They never explained that. So it is seven levels behind. I, I I might need to switch an hard for if this another opportunity too. Then again, N was destroying me at the end of the last part. I don't know, was it? Boss for Alvis and Xenoblade 1. There might have been. I feel like there wasn't. Like, he was on Zane's side, but. I feel like he kind of just stood back and watched. I do not get motivated for anything like at all. Makes no sense to me. I think that's probably the weakest part of this so far. Is that Elvis is a soul. make any sense. But he wants to destroy the world because he thinks it's spawned in this area. Like, what would you call Zenoblade 1's world then? Because they were in the exact same conflict, more or less, just switch out Kevis and Agnes with the Kongs and Rakanis. And Mecha and Bion, like, whichever terms you want to use, same difference. Oh no. Uh, I've gone on LinkedIn in Ohio, I just don't like it in so many general though, so. Probably just me seeing more bombs in it. It's like, I wish I liked it because, like, the. Yeah, I genuinely think it's one of those cases where, like, the first 80% of it is fine. Like, it, it will still probably be the weeks in the series, but it'd be fine. It's just that last 20% just destroys it.
I mean, if I ever go through Zen Blade 1, I'll talk about it. Careful! Crap! Now he's trying to suck Matthew in too! He's found it. The trace of turmoil. That's still within him. Discard the past. Let it all go. Matthew. I... I won't... What harm did your kind do? You have done nothing wrong. You simply strode forth towards the future. But the olden humans, they did not find value in it. You must have realized. This is not where you belong. S stop! Why make a martyr of yourself? Why be a stepping stone? For as long as the old is not excised, mankind has no future. The old? You say? It's in your hands, Matthew. Copy. Kidding me? I'm nowhere near done yet. I'm not dying with so much left undone. I'm not You again. In. Don't mistake me. I am one who lives in the now. My blade knows no regrets. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. And that's why. I can't afford to just take off. <clears throat> hey. Matthew. You okay? Mm. Then... Let's seize it together. Our true future. I'm sorry. It's nothing. And... I've got a crap load of stuff I want to say to you. But right this instant... I'm glad we're both fighting on the same side. Am I right? There you go. Mr. Alpha, sir. You want to go so badly, then pick up and go. This world, it belongs to us. Regrettable, Matthew. I'd hoped that we could celebrate the day of departure together. But very well. It seems that I must forsake you. The olden ones. Olden life. Your old notions.
What kind of freaky final boss design is that? What is wrong with the back? It looks funky, especially back there. Go back. Ah, no. Yeah, it's actually kind of glad I didn't have a chance to go to hard mode. But that attack nearly wiped me in one strike. And that's with the extra levels. Oh, no, no speed. Okay, those two can go. Still haven't set their thing, so I honestly don't remember how to. Oh, for the... I can't wait to ruin this super dramatic song to paint attack to the charges. Up oh, almost there. They're smashing and do it. Well, I only just noticed that like Niall's in the group too. I don't know if you're being counted as a hero type though where like you can't play as early. Yeah, no you can't. It just goes Shulk and Matthew. Oh, the music actually doesn't get interrupted for once. Never mind then. Uh, go Shulk. I can pick Niall though. You have a break. You don't have any of those types. Okay, uh, go with Matthew. The off chance you can inflict a break. I have learned the error of my ways. Use Alpha at every single turn. And now, I can use it. Try to break again. Oh, right. Shulk, uh, Shulk defaults to 150. I forgot about that. That's actually not that good now. I know about that trick. Oh, you can get her. Attacks during chain attack gain 60% chance to bypass defense. It's not bad. I assume she works like regular heroes where she doesn't get used through chase. Yeah, I should definitely use her. Okay, uh, sure, speed. Try it. This might go too. It, it went too high. Ah, uh, I think like the last character I would have wanted back. Oh, it does use the wheel. I mean, yeah, no, Niels is terrible then. I do not use under any circumstance. And then, sure, whatever. Guess anything for aggro. Oh, 
Bring it to me, everybody! You definitely not using I am. We get away with him, but it's risky. That was also risky for different reasons. There, put the attack up. Seventy-five, and that's just our starting point. Okay. It's so good. Two and two. The shame he seems to be immune to break. Won't stop me from trying though. Still did decent damage in the end. Uh, what happened to the arena? I'm sorry. to examine the footage later. I'm not sure. Yay! Oh, you, you got that move. Great. But uh, it looks like it's going to be a problem later. It is! I can't chain attack! Oh! Uh, I broke! Wow, it sure would be nice if I could, uh... If I could chain attack! Else down. Damn attack, sure. You're really impressive at seeing all that, but are you really as powerful as somebody to preach around the middle of the plane somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, my chain tax stack. Oh, go now. I think it's just broken. I don't think it's toppled yet. It's hard to tell if enemies like this. Are you? I uh, I mean, I would argue that it's low health at this point. I'll try to topple. It didn't work. And I went over 100, just those two. That's not good. It's gonna be another Rex round. Try to topple again. Real tech up. Rex does, of course he does. Uh. 
I guess I can use uh, you here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, the lock. Or, wait, were you already launched? I honestly hadn't noticed. If I use Matthew, he definitely goes over 100. If I use Rex, he definitely goes over 100. I don't know which one of them is going to end up being worth more. I would estimate Rex would end up somewhere around like 120. Matthew might end up somewhere around like 130. I still kind of feel like Rex might be the better option though. Although, uh, Matthew has power charge. But, uh, I can't write that off. Do it. Yeah, it was pretty close to 130. Oh, but this is gonna finish it off. Now, now we're just doing overkill. Oh! It didn't let me do the final phase. Your actions have made the future uncertain. Have you no regrets? Given a choice of this magnitude, surely there is doubt. Oh, believe me, got him in spades. That's why we move forward. Always ahead. <laughs> See ya. Alpha.
Right we are. Just one last thing then. Yeah. You got it. Hey. Alpha was, and I am, an avatar, the spirit of your world. Just like Alpha needed all of you, you and your world, you need me. An avatar? What? It's no more. So someone else has to pick up the slack. The annihilation events, they'll keep happening whether you like it or not. The world needs a bit of propping up. Until the time comes. Yes. Hold up a minute. Who's someone? And for how long? Well, you work that part out. Don't do this! You don't have to sacrifice yourselves! It's not like that. We're helping. And that's different how exactly? Fundamentally. <gasps> Glimmer. As long as you lot do your part to change this world, it'll all go back to normal. And if we don't manage, then what? My lifetime. It's barely a blip. If you don't, pass it on. Huh? Let someone else carry on your dream. That's how we've always rolled. Was lot. It's not much, but we can offer you a gift. We can imbue you with our life, keep the wheels turning. That way, you'll be able to live out the rest of your lives. Enough time to do what you must. No, but... Oh, hey, don't get us wrong now. Uh, uh... We're just taking a breather. It's all right. We'll meet again. Trust me. Oh. <sighs> Teacher. Boss. This is against the rules. You know this. Don't be a spoil sport now. If it was them, I don't think they'd even bat an eyelid at helping. <laughs> Admittedly. Well, I suppose you have earned it. Very well, then. I didn't see or hear anything. Thanks a lot, Alvis. Then... It's all up to you now. With us taking the role of the Avatar, Zed may well seize upon it to gain power. What we did, and all that concerns Origin, will become but a dim memory. Nevertheless, our intentions will live on, and one day coalesce again. Be it tomorrow, or in a thousand years. Surely, the time will eventually come. I can see it, clear as day. Our future is in your hands. We'll be waiting at the far edge of time. did see it coming, didn't you? All the time. Right. And all the will. The only thing I see is what the flow encompasses. But your hope lives on. That much is certain.
Righty ho. Wanna get back to it then? I highly doubt you have the strength left. Same goes for you. Mobius will never change. In any way. Forever transfixed. They will guard the Endless now to the last. Including you. Naturally. Well then. We'll be busy. What if you cannot make it happen? Your lives are pitifully short. <laughs> we went over this. You got wax in your ears. If I can't, someone else will, down the line. Who knows? Maybe it'll even be you. <coughs> Friend fail yet again. Did Riku not say? Should not use so much noise bite. What? You said to throw in a bunch of them. You told me. Riku did not. Nickel must have poor hearing. Um. <coughs> Honest to spark. You still going at it? What do you mean, still? It has to be done. We're powering up the Ouroboros stone. Just about done with it now. We've accumulated all this data. Now if we could only encode it in the operative photon wave frequency. If you get it to work, we'll be able to deploy that power whenever we feel like it, right? Right. I'll admit the photons have limited capacity, so we won't be able to empower quite that many people all in one go. Hmm. Oh, more importantly, you don't want to be late. The send-off? Oh, that's right. I better get moving. <laughs> Take care, all right? You sure you're gonna be fine alone? Oh, yeah. It'll be a relief, if anything. Well, someone's full of himself. Matthew, thank you for everything. Ah, oh, and thanks right back at you. Also, while I'm gone, keep an eye on the city, eh? Nael, Nickel, Glimmer, Panacea, Linka. Oh, and you, Riku. Why, Riku lost? <laughs> Once I found us some friends, I'll come home again. Mm hmm. Get back safe. Sure. All righty. Time to start rebuilding the world. Matthew Van Dam is out of here. That is still so good. I said it before, I will say it again. This should have been the base game. Like, it really should have. Like, I like base 3 fine. I think it's a good game. The DLC presses it in every possible way. But except for length. And even then, like, I'm what, like... 18 parts in. Mind you, yes, I was doing everything I could along the way, with only a few things here and there really left. Yeah, like it's got no real comments on it. A lot got thrown at just there at the end. Like a lot of it I 
trying to be, so like... I feel like the whole fact that Matthew's last name was Van Damme was supposed to be a, a twist, but... I mean, we already know if this is the base game. Like, he was the head of the house Van Damme. Like, uh, of course that's his name. If anything, I thought it was weird the whole time that he wasn't using his name. Eh, details. Also, we never got an answer about where everyone else is. Or what Riku is doing as an immortal vampire. I, I don't know. They never explained it. Why are Silicon Rex around at the ages they are when there's been at least... But there's been at least, I think, five-ish generations of people in the city that we know of. Probably more. Like, the ages don't match. Like, they're not even close. They should have died from old age. Wait, many centuries ago. But no! They're still around. Well, I mean, I, I guess they're gone now, sort of. But they kind of had to skirt around it. But, but it was very obvious that they were supposed to be sacrificing themselves. Although I guess with the ending of 3, the sacrifice is undone. Theoretically, right? Like, it just goes back to what was before Ionia's form. Oh. Console lag. I got... I don't know how much it's just... Everything I can think of was improved in future game to print the base. It's gonna be hard for me to go back to base game. I think I'm gonna have to take a break from the Team Play 3 again after this. Probably won't be as long as the last one. But once I'm done with everything in Redeem Play, I'm gonna have to leave with me for however long. Yeah, nice image. Uh, I like Jupiter too. Or, oh, the. Is that supposed to be the two worlds come together? Even though they're one world, sort of. Or, oh no, they're drifting again. Yeah, they also never explained how the Six of Matter thing happened, because, again, like, in canon, Zing Blade 1 is inside a computer. Zing Blade 2, in canon, is not. They never explained the disparity. Like going somewhere? Really? Could we get an end credit scene? Probably not. Really hoping they let me level down after this. <laughs> There's not a lot left that I really need to level down for, but. at least. New challenge, new time check challenge has been added. Oh, so I was right. I wasn't wasting my time. Good, because like that, this was one of my big reasons for doing it now, you know, aside from just the fact I wanted to go through it as soon as it came out. The time check challenge has been added. Consider paying a visit to the main game's land of challenge. Niall is a party member. On save files with the game complete, Niall will be a member of the party. That seasons will not be affected. Additionally, affinity growth and weapon strengthening are not available to Niall. You can't, however, customize her accessories and gems like a normal party member. Uh, okay, is she treated like a hero character in the base game, or is she just a seventh party member? Setting levels of rest spots. Okay, you can change them. Okay, good. 
You now use level up forms and risk slots to lower your character's level as well. Doing so will net you bonus XP for any levels that you choose to give up. Oh, so this is more like like two style level down. You gotta keep track of things. Okay, well, part's nearly an hour long. I'm gonna call it a part. There's not a lot left to do anyway. So, thank y'all for watching. Uh, next part might be the last one. It's uh, really not a lot left. Oh, that's nice. I like that. They changed the screen to look more like base game. Although, interestingly, you don't have the iconography of the sword stabbing into Uriah anymore. It's just the sword behind Uriah. Something happened in the last thousand years or so. Somebody picked the sword up and put it into Uriah's back for no good reason. But, uh, yeah. It's, like, really good. Right, like, something I didn't really comment much on, I did bring it up once or twice, but, like, the soundtrack is so much better. Like, uh, I didn't dislike Base 3's soundtrack, and it definitely has some good tracks, but I feel like it was way too atmospheric, way too much of the time. It's just, it got boring. You can have the same problem I had with games like Breath of the Wild soundtrack, it's just, it's just a boring soundtrack. Like, I don't want to be listening to this while I'm going around. Like, when I was playing Breath of the Wild most of the time, like, if I wasn't watching a cutscene, like, I just had it muted. I might as well. Just listen to a podcast. And if, honestly, if I was uh, if I wasn't doing LP, even I was just playing on my own, I probably would have done the same thing with the re, especially on the replay. But dear, nah, like it, it stays on. Such a massive improvement. Like even the songs that are more uh, uh, ambient or atmospheric, like even those got a massive upgrade. I think. So good. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot to add for this part, so thank y'all for watching. Uh, next time we'll be tackling whatever I have left, which means I'm gonna have to figure out how to grind levels like mad to get to up to level 90 to fight those enemies from before, so that's something I'm dreading. But anyway, take care, stay safe, have a good one. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.